stations across the land, JoePags.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, all of that and more, plus Newsmax TV, the Joe Pags Show. Glad to have you here. Always glad to have Eric Trump, yes, the son of President Donald Trump and also of Trump International. Eric, how are you? Hey, Pags, how are you? I mean, I'm living the dream. It's, it's going great today. Um, and, and we've got a big debate tonight, as you know. It's going to be Ted Cruz taking on uh, Robert Francis O'Rourke. He's calling himself Beto for some reason. I'm not sure why. But that's going to happen in San Antonio tonight. And, and that race is probably not as close as the media is pretending, but we really can't take it for granted, right? Listen, you can't take anything for granted. People have to go out and they have to vote. I mean, the, the amount you I hear you know, people say to me, well, my guy, my guy's Trump. He's not on the, you know, he's not on the ballot, uh, so I'm not going to go out and vote. And I go, please, you can't think that way. You have to get out and yeah. vote. It yeah. is so critically important. I mean, Joe, as a country, we're winning. I mean, everything about our country is winning right now. Our economy is on fire. It's 4.2% GDP growth, 3.9% unemployment, the lowest unemployment in the history of our nation. We've got 3% wage growth, which is the first time wages have gone up in 16 years. You know, we have um, the largest military spending. We have the largest tax cuts uh, in history. Um, manufacturing is coming back to our nation. 401ks are through the roof. Yeah. Small businesses are paying 15% less in taxes than they were a year ago, which has just created such a you know financial engine. Um, I mean, we are doing so incredible. And that's before you start talking about, you know, prison reform, which needs to be done, and the yeah. opioid crisis that he's taking on, and Supreme Court justices, and prescription drugs. No one wants to talk about that. Everything that he's done to lower the cost of prescription drugs, you know, something that is, is, is so keen on his mind. Yeah. Um, you know, no one wants to talk about it, but it, it, it's – we are winning. We're not getting ripped off by China anymore. We're not getting ripped off by Mexico anymore. You know, we're finally negotiating good trade deals. You know, the Chinese economy right now, as, as you probably know better than anybody, is down, you know, almost 25 percent. Right. Right. All while America has the strongest economy that's ever had. So who's winning this thing? Right. And and that's what he promised the American people he was going to do. He promised the American people he was going to come in. He was going to win. We were no longer going to get used and abused as a country. And but people have to get out there. They have to get out and vote. It's uh, Eric Trump, the son of uh, President Donald Trump. You're absolutely right, Eric. But as I watch these races, it's very, very suspect how the Democrats are running. What they're saying is in races across the country, you've seen this, all the advertising is saying, uh, well, uh, Trump gave a tax cut to his corporate buddies. Ted Cruz gave a tax cut to his corporate friends. The top 1% got the vast majority of the tax cut. Everybody else got nothing. That's a lie. That's not true. Everybody who pays taxes got a tax cut. And corporations who employ us got a tax cut, so we're all making more money. Some people got bonuses. So you know, well, how, they, do you, how do you combat the lies when you see them flying around they, like that? Honestly, they are truly some of the most dishonest people in the world. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen the deception. I've never seen the dishonesty of politics. Again, this is, this is in our world, right? We're business people. We're not, we, we, don't, we don't come out of, uh, right. out of the political world. These people are truly the most dishonest people in the entire world. I mean, you look at the amount of small businesses in this country, right? Uh, you know, dozens and dozens of millions of small businesses, yeah. right, all, all across our our nation. They're getting, they're paying 15 percent less in taxes. You look at the regulations, right? I mean, the way he slashed regulations, it's promoting manufacturing coming back in. People are getting hired. That's why you have 3.7 percent unemployment. It's the reason you have the lowest Hispanic unemployment, the lowest African American unemployment in history, the lowest female unemployment in history. Yeah. I mean. It's it's unbelievable. It's all because of, of, of that, right? You know, negotiating trade deals where – now, Joe, you know this better than anybody. You'd have a trade deal with, with, with China where if you sent a product to them, they would charge you 25%, 25 to 50% in tariffs, right? Right. Whereas they could make the same product over there. They could send it to you, and we wouldn't charge them anything. So, I mean, who do you think is going to win that battle? I, I mean, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. We, we overtaxed companies. We overregulated you know, companies. As soon as that disappeared – our, 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 the, the economy of this country went crazy. I mean, it, 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 it's going through the roof. They, the stock market this morning, last time I looked at it, it was up 400 points. I mean, we are doing so well as a nation, and we're winning, but people have to get out there. People have to vote. People yeah. have to realize the lies and deception um, of the other side, and, and they do. You know why? Because every single time they open up their 401k, you know, or every time they open up their paycheck or when they go to pay their taxes – and they see that they have a lot more money in their pocket and that they have jobs and that they're not working two or three jobs and that they're getting pay increases, 
believe me, people read through it. And um, I, I think we're going to see that in the midterms. But again, people have to go out and vote. Yeah, it's Eric Trump, the son of President Donald Trump, also Trump International. You know, what's interesting about what you just said, it, it's all 100% true. We've got companies that can afford to give us bonuses. Three to four million people got those. Uh, to give us raises, millions of more people got those. Uh, small businesses are adding employees instead of slashing them. With Obamacare alone, they slashed employees because there was a penalty if you had over 50 employees. Your father made promises that he's sticking to. And when it comes to the trade stuff, Canada said, no way we're going to do it. Then they made a deal. Mexico said, no way we're going to do it. Then they made a deal. The EU said, no way we're going to do it. Then they made a deal. So your dad being punished and pummeled by the media over the leverage that he knew he had when it came to, to tariffs and stuff like that, it all worked. And then they don't give him the praise in the back end. How weird is sure. that? Well, how about health care costs? I mean, same thing, right? Obamacare, everybody was touting Obamacare. Obamacare was the greatest disaster in the world. You were supposed to be able to keep your doctor. You're supposed to be able to keep your plan. You're supposed to save $2,500. And health care costs, you know, flew through the roof. And that's all coming down. You see all the new prescription drug um, legislation, that which is drastically reducing the price of prescription drugs. You, you, You look at right to try. You look at so many of these different efforts. And you know, that's right, because, you know, the politicians have been stuck in a mindset um, their entire lives. They don't care about actually governing. They just want to keep themselves elected so they're salespeople. That's not who he is. I mean, he's he's the one guy who's probably ever come into government who has a worse life, you know, than, than before. <laughs> that's he, true. He, that's actually true, needed, yeah. I, you know, I, I joke that he needed this job like a hole in the head. He had the greatest life in the world. He, he You know, I mean, he was the epitome of the American dream and, yeah. you know, maybe still is in so many ways. He didn't need the headache. He didn't need the aggravation. But he would open up the papers every single day, and he would see, you know, America gives 150 billion dollars to Iran, a country that absolutely hates our guts. Right. You know, instead of spending it on, uh, you know, our inner cities or our educational systems or our military, right? That had fighter jets where they were going to museums to borrow parts because they didn't have enough parts for our. our I mean, it's crazy. This is this is yet we're giving 150 billion dollars to a a country that would love to see us wiped off the face of the earth. I yeah. mean. And I'd see him shaking his head, Joe. I'd see him shaking his head saying, what are we doing as a nation? Are these people absolutely insane? And they were. And look how much he's accomplished in two years. I mean, look at what he's accomplished in a two-year period of time. It's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's Eric Trump, Trump International, also the son, of course, of the president, uh, uh, President Donald Trump. Uh, in, in watching the midterms approach, it didn't look great for Republicans. In fact, it looked like the House was going to be an easy win for the so-called blue wave, and the Senate was, uh, was, was right on the border. Now it looks like we'll probably gain three or four senators, provided people go and vote, and the House is up for grabs again. I think that's got to be the Kavanaugh effect. It's got to be that we were re-motivated, re-energized uh, on the right and traditional American values people by watching the lengths that the left would go to. Do you think that can last another two or three weeks? Are, are we still okay there or we have to keep on energizing people? Well, listen, you always have to energize people and people have to realize how important their vote is. You have to get out. You know, if you believe in Trump, you have to get out. You have yeah. to vote. I mean, it's just that simple. Even if he's not on the ballot, you have to get out. This really is about vote. him though, isn't it, Eric? It really no, is. It, 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 of course it is. Of course it is, because if he doesn't have the Senate, if he doesn't have the House, it makes it a lot tougher yeah. to get you know various things through. And you know, but Kavanaugh, I mean, look at it. You know, I mean, whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty, right? Yeah. Uh, it, the Democrats would like it to be the exact opposite way, only because it worked for them that specific day. They yeah. want somebody to be guilty until proven innocent. I mean, they tried to destroy somebody's family, but but aside from you know the allegations, aside from you know from from that side of things, I mean. Look at that first day. You know, Kavanaugh got in there at 9:30 in the morning, the first day he was set to testify. You know, on on, on Capitol Hill. Yeah. America was tuned into the TVs. They wanted to hear from you know you know potentially the next Supreme Court justice. He didn't get to say his first words until 3:30 in the afternoon because you had Cory Booker and Spartacus and all these people out there <laughs> grandstanding. They were running for president from, right. you know, from the stage. Agreed. I mean, it was unbelievable. That's not what America is. That's not what the confirmation process is of a Supreme Court justice. You know, we deserve so much better than this than than this nonsense. And you know, it, it's everything that my father um, fights against. I mean, the the, the swamp is deep. Um, it's so much deeper than I ever thought it was. And you know, they're lashing out. They're losing. They're lashing out. Um, the Democrats don't stand for anything anymore, right. um, other than you know the elimination of plastic straws and doubling your taxes, which would put our country into a uh, you know, would put our country into the second Great Depression. Yeah. Um, 
but they don't have a message. They don't have any leadership, and 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 we're winning. And, and I think I say, we're, we're winning. America's winning. America's I think it's become winning. really yeah. evident in the past few weeks that you're right. Their platform is anything other than Trump, and it's not going to work. It's not resonating. It's, it's Eric Trump. Uh, Eric, your dad has announced that he's going to be campaigning with uh, with Senator Cruz in Houston next Monday, which is going to be a great event. I think ten thousand people will be there, if not more, standing outside. I'm going to try to get down there too. Uh, let me ask you this though: the criticism on the left, and it's been criticized for two and a half, three years now, is that Ted and, and your father didn't like each other on the campaign trail. But they really, not only have they buried the hatchet, but they found out that they're really similar guys when it comes to making promises and keeping them, right? Yeah, and listen, Ted's been a great advocate of uh, of my father in Washington. And, um, you know, I think I think that relationship, I think the friendship has, um, has, has, has quite re- frankly, really developed um, pretty significantly. Yeah. You know, when when you come in, remember, my father was a you know a, a big real estate guy. He didn't he didn't know any of these people. He never rubbed shoulders with these people. He never spoke to them at cocktail parties. I mean, he was a, he was an outsider. And you know, a lot of times it takes it takes a little while to get to know somebody, and then you realize that you're you're fighting for the exact same thing. And you know, Ted's fought very very hard yeah. uh, for so many of the things that my father's fought for, and um, he's been a big help in the mission to you know, not to sound cheesy, but make America great again, which right. is what he's been doing. I mean, whether it be the tax reform, whether it be Kavanaugh, whether it be, you know, a hundred other things, you know, passing, you know, massive amounts of, 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 of legislation, taking on so many issues that are so important. I mean, he's been a tremendous help. And um, I know him personally. I know Ted personally. And, um, you know, I know his family. I know his two beautiful little daughters. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know his wife. And um, they're good people. Um, they're really good people. Hey, do 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 elections get contentious? Of course they do. Yeah. Um, but, uh they're good people, and we uh, we we need Ted. Um, we need Ted. We want people with spine. He has spine, and um, people have to get out. People have to vote. It's just uh, it's critically important. It's uh, Eric Trump. Eric, and how busy you are? I've got to ask you very quickly about two quick hits, and we will not spend much time on this. But we kind of laughed before before we went on today. Um, uh, over the past two days, Elizabeth Warren has been not not only not vindicated she's been proven uh to be completely lying about her heritage in fact the cherokee nation has asked her to be quiet now and then today because your dad won this lawsuit that that uh, this uh, stephanie clifford and her her slimy uh lawyer were bringing today he he called her horse face or something on twitter when your dad does stuff like that do you ever cringe a little bit or does it make you laugh i mean what what, what he he clearly won over over both Clifford and over Warren. I mean, he's the winner in, in those little battles that were off to the side. But when you see that going down, what do you think? Because I mean, it's blowing up social media like like crazy. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at social media literally as we speak. There's a picture of a duck, and it says, um, you know, it's obviously a parody of of, of Elizabeth Warren, but right. it says one. 1024th bald eagle, one one thousand and twenty fourth bald eagle. Come it's kind on. of funny. It's a, f- f- funny little meme of a of a duck sitting there. Right, and, you know, I mean, right. it, that, that's a whole conversation today. And listen, Joe. I mean, America elected a fighter, right? I mean, yeah. he's not one of these guys. A lot of people would say, you know, they take the win, sit back. I mean, he's he's a fighter. He's a counterpunch here. When when somebody does something that he thinks is dishonest or unethical or um, you know not right or you know wh- wh- however you want to classify both of those individuals. I yeah. mean, here Elizabeth Warren lied about lied about her ancestry to try and get a job and to get into college. I yeah. mean, it's disgusting. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. And, you know, it's 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 we we should expect so much more and people should be called out for this. Yeah, the Cherokee Nation came out large but you know he's a counterpuncher, right? And, yeah. and 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 he's a fighter. Hey, is is that sometimes to his detriment? Uh, probably, but I don't know how you change somebody's DNA, right? If they're if they're a fighter, and you want this country was missing a fighter for a long time. We didn't have so a true. fighter in the White House for a long, long time, and it's nice to have a fighter there again. That's why we're winning these trade wars, right? It's, so maybe does it, does it maybe step on your feet once in a while? Does it maybe trip you up once in a while? Sure, but. You want that personality. You want yeah. the person who will who will swing back when they feel that they're being taken advantage of, where they're being used, where they're being, um, and and it's fundamentally ingrained in his DNA. And um, you know, I think it's exactly what this country um, needs. And and uh, and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of everything that he's accomplished. And um, he's an awesome guy. I mean, you know him, but he's just an awesome guy, and he's doing an incredible, incredible job. Well, he really is. It, it, you couldn't be more correct about that. Eric Trump, he's the son of the president, also Trump International. Eric, you, if you're going to be in Texas soon, let's let's hook up and let's uh, let's sit down and talk and and uh, and go. Ted Cruz, we're going to be pushing for him tonight after the debate, and uh, and uh, next Monday again in Houston. We appreciate you, Eric. Thanks. Hey, hey thanks so much, Joe. We'll see you soon. Back after this Take on the care, Joe Pag Show. Stay right here.